Hey, hello everyone, this is Mr. Robo Ronan here again, and today I'm here for a bit of a different video than usual. Here I am to break down the patch notes for the most recent update of My Hero Wants Justice 2. And they're not that long for each character, um, and with the help of my somewhat decent Japanese knowledge, and with the great help of Google Translate, we'll get through this together, because I've heard some people have had some trouble understanding them. So let's start off with um, regular Deku. Actually, I'm not quite sure what... Um, type of Deku this is, but it doesn't really matter because it's very basic um, change. But essentially, his first point, and I'll bring up um, the Japanese version if you want to read that. But essentially, he just has an adjustment to his sidekick attack. They just will go further and go further faster, which is good, but not that big of a deal. Um, tea ceremony is actually referring to Uraraka because Ochako, you know, Ocha is tea, Ko is like celebrations so or tea ceremony. <laughs> so um, her basic fix is that she, basically the tracking is improved for most of her rock projectiles, so improved tracking of her rocks, so they will go towards op the opponent instead of going in a straight line, which is, I guess is a good thing, or maybe they just um, go better towards the opponent, because a lot of the time they miss. And also says when launching the rock, the um, it'll come to the character to fix timing, even if it's far away due to some reason. So I don't know if that means the further you are away, the faster the rock will travel, but that seems like an interesting fix. So if you're really far away, the the rock will take the same amount of time as if you're a bit closer, so they like travel faster, because they do take a while to get to the opponent if you're far away. And also, there's some phenomenon that like if you're in the air, you can't land after doing some certain things, which I assume means like after some of her pillar attacks, she just falls to the ground. So that's good that she can actually do other moves after doing after ending her combos, because usually she just drops down. And also change the bounce of certain projectiles while spinning. I just assume that means the like the way that when she does the spinning home run attack with her uh, quirk one, um, it'll change the way that it launches the projectiles, maybe just at a different rate or something. Um, for her Tilt Quirk 2, the, yeah, just better tracking performance. Um, when flying rocks, make sure that the rocks come to the character to fix timing. So yeah, it seems like no matter the distance, they're going to take the same amount of time to travel, so their speed will change depending on your distance, which is really interesting. Um, with her Quirk 2, which is her individual skill 3, um, adjust how the opponent is like knocked away when you hit, so I'm interested to see how that applies. Maybe they don't get launched as far away, or maybe they don't get, like, yeah, maybe they don't get launched as intensely for an easy wall splat now, or something. Maybe it's better, I don't know. Um, content of the normal ground combo, that's very vague, I have no idea what that would refer to. Maybe you can't cancel off of the third hit now. Um, bit of a change to the sidekick attack, that's fine. Sidekick plus ultra. This is an all-around change I've noticed for every character. All the sidekick plus ultra damage has been reduced by quite a significant amount. So hers is down from up down from seven thousand to five thousand five hundred. Okay, now for Todoroki, his quirk air quirk one. Um, it's an unusual way to phrase it. So change so that the guidance is not cut up by evasion, cut off by evasion until you hit a projectile. So I assume that means that. When opponent sidesteps, it doesn't completely destroy the tracking of the projectile. Um, yeah, that's my best guess, because sometimes when you sidestep to his projectile, it would just stop coming after you, which is a really good way of avoiding it, but I guess they fixed that now. Um, upwards revision of turning performance, I guess it just tracks better now, which is really scary. Um, change to not immediately go down when hitting the opponent on the ground. Not quite sure what that's referring to. Oh, it's, um, you know when sometimes you hit the opponent, uh, if you jump into the air and do your Quirk 1 fireball, sometimes it, like, only does a single hit on them, because they get instantly, like, hit to the floor. So I assume this means all the hits will hit now. That's actually a pretty good buff for Todoroki, because that was an annoying thing that limited a lot of the damage that you get. Uh, sidekick attack change. Yeah, it's changes to that, similar to whatever. I don't really care about the sidekick things, because they don't change that much. He actually got an increase in his sidekick plus ultra, which is interesting. Okay, now for Froppy, um, so after her, the third hit of her combo, she can't cancel it into her Tilt Quirk 2, so her unblockable grab. I guess that's something she she could do. I've never really used that, except for maybe on block, so I, I guess small nerf for Froppy. For, Froppy. Um, for her counterattack, adjust the, the, like, the hit means when they're on the ground. So I guess it just means the, um, 
the hit reaction when you do her counter attack or a tilt attack is different, and I assume that's just going to be fixing. She had an infinite with that when she did one hit into the yellow attack, one hit into the yellow attack, and she could just do that forever until they meteor blowed. So I assume they fixed that. Um, change to a sidekick attack. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Change to perform the sidekick attack after being thrown when throwing the other sidekick instead of the player. So I'm not sure if that means that she can throw either the sidekick or the player. So like, she performs a sidekick after being thrown when throwing the other sidekick. It's very weird wording, and then I'm not quite sure what um, I wasn't able to decipher what it actually meant in Japanese either, so I'm just gonna ignore the <laughs> ignore that one, but there's something different about that, so you can test it out. It'll probably be pretty obvious if she's throwing <laughs> someone else. Okay, for Kaminari, slightly lowered to the ground when hitting the first stage of his um, uh, against air opponents, so it just means it's more consistent when he does his um, ground attack string, so if someone's slightly in the air, sometimes like the second or third hit whiffed or missed, so I guess they slightly fix that, which is good. His quirk one, um, Reduction of rear clearance on the ground, not quite sure what that means, maybe he had a weird hitbox, like if the opponent was standing behind him and he did it, it would still hit them, not quite sure. Sidekick attack, um, penetrate stage figurine, I just that mean, guess that means like objects on the screen sometimes blocked his sidekick attack and he couldn't go through them, like you know, like the chairs in the class stage and stuff. Um, less, a lot less sidekick plus ultra damage, which is good because his was pretty ridiculous. Um, his way time reduction, so that's like his when it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's a very small change though, down from 4.5 seconds to 4.4. I don't know who that's going to be saving, but yeah, slightly less yay mode. Okay, um, Kirishima, his sidekick attack actually got quite a bit of a buff, so it, um, when he goes up to do the sidekick attack, he's faster and the distance he moves when he does the attack is further as well. So that's pretty good. But no other changes for Kirishima. For Lemillion, or <laughs> Mirio, 800 million, interesting. Um, his target combo, so his regular attack string, just the falling speed of the other, other party in the second step on the ground. So I'm not quite sure if that means in a juggle they will get restood instead of being in the air or whatever. Um, adjust the timing of cancelling from the second step on the ground to um, to his quirk one. Not quite sure what that's referring to, but I have a feeling like one of these changes are going to make it so he can't do his sidestep <laughs> infinite. Um, less damage on his sidekick damage, uh, sidekick plus ultra, and um, he f there was a thing fixed. Oh, some some glitch with Night Eye's foresight thing. Um, Yeah. Anyways, I think... Okay, yeah. So for Todoroki, his plus ultra one, um, I don't know, something was fixed about that, a phenomenon, so it did, I guess it didn't happen that, but when it was interrupted, or interrupts some things, yeah. No, no changes for to Tokuyami, which is interesting. I thought he would have gotten a few buffs, but I guess not. Um, Aizawa, his tilt quirk two, which is... What is his tilt quirk to? Oh, his parry. Um, upgrade the attack judgment when succeeding. Um, maybe it just has more hit advantage after you hit it. Yeah, I don't know. Death pattern tree before style. Okay, so I guess this is... Oh, um, Shigaraki. His original version. The original Shigaraki. Okay, so his plus ultra, fixed debug. Okay, yeah, don't really care. Whether the opponent was floating or something. Okay, his unguardable attack. I've made it faster. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think they would do that, because he already has a really good <laughs> red attack. Anyways, um, for Toga, she kind of just got a change where she, like, there was a glitch where she couldn't transform when she hit certain entities in solo mode. So, yeah, not really much changes for her, except for, um... Uh, change in position when training mode, yeah, something random when she faces, faces in Endeavor in training mode. Um, plus Ultra 1, oh, this is Endeavor now. Okay, yeah, so no, no changes to um, Togo, which I find interesting. Endeavor, his plus Ultra 1, forces the opponent down when the explosion hits. So I assume that's actually referring to they don't get launched 
horizontally so they don't get wall splat launched, which is very, very interesting. Wait, so this is Tsugata Million. Who was 800 million up here before? Wait, where did he go? Uh. Oh no, I've gotten lost. Okay, yeah, there's Endeavor. And yeah, up here we were looking at reading at 800 million. Well, I guess, yeah, he didn't really have that much changes anyways. Maybe he was referring to Night Eye, because they talk about his Night Sight thing. So just the falling speed of the second step. Oh yeah, because his um, second hit of his hat, attack string actually launches him in the air. Um, just at the time cancelling it. So I guess it just makes his um, attack string more consistent, because it launches him in the air, which is a bit weird, and created some glitches. And fixed a phenomenon where his parry, I guess... Received a discrepancy in the shield equipped and the 8 million displayed. Future prediction and the 8 million operated. Okay, some glitch with his parry was fixed. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. We did Toga and Endeavor. Okay, so this is actually Mirio. <laughs> um, reduce the time required for the third step. Okay, yeah, so this is fixing his, um, his sidestep infinite combo obviously, because those need to be fixed. Um, his sidekick attack was fixed slightly, like the way it goes infinite. Um, and they fixed the the exploit the, where um, when he goes invincible uh, with his quirk one. And here, well, I'll just make this bigger so you can actually read it all. Um, but where he goes invincible with his quirk one, um, he can't actually, like, cancel it with a sidestep and, like, without performing, performing the actual attack, so that's a good nerf, because it was annoying that he could have literal, like, infinite invincibility. Plus Ultra 1, cut off the follow-up action. Maybe it's because he could sometimes get combos off of it if he was near a wall, maybe they've made it, had added a bit more recovery so you can't combo off it easily. Um, and his quirk... Two, which is, a, is individual skill three, kick turning. Oh, oops, no, this is Mina. <laughs> uh, Mina's quirk two, which is her breakdance thing, uh, has kick turning performance after breakdance has been revised upwards. So I guess after she does her quirk two and she does the kick, I guess it launches them in the air a bit instead of because they were kind of launched like straight horizontal, even a bit down. So I guess the way that it launches them is going to be a bit in the air, so maybe she's more likely to get wall splats off of that or something. Okay, Mineta. Chains it so if you hit the opponent in the air. Oh yeah, this is a really good buff for Mineta. So, you know how his regular attack string, if the opponent was slightly in the air and you did two hits, the second hit would, like, splat them onto the ground instantly for some reason, and it will no longer do that. So that's a really good change for um, Mineta. Um, his Tilt Quirk 2, which is his parry, um, after attacking, if you play to see yeah, some glitch. Uh, less damage, cyclic plus ultra, a lot less damage. And yeah, changes to that. Okay, Kami, correction of ground speed. And I wonder if that means that her ground attack is actually quite a bit slower, because she definitely had the fastest ground attack. Like, it was like, probably like an 8 framer. Like, it was ridiculously fast. So, I guess they've just normalized her ground attack speed, which I guess is fair. Because she's pretty good in a lot of other ways. Um, her Tilt Quirk 1, which is an individual skill 2, reduce the time taken before it can be used again. So I guess she just can't do her, um, you know, where she does a clone summon with a Tilt Quirk 1. She just can't do that as rapidly. There's more t time in between or something. Um, plus Ultra 1, stable hits on the wall. So maybe she can get a wall splat off of that now. Scary stuff. Unguardable. Adjust so that the guarding is disabled from the first stage. I don't think you could have guarded at the first stage, so maybe it means you can actually guard the first hit of her um, red move now, and decrease generation speed. That's scary, so they made it faster, even though it was already a really good red attack. Sidekick adjustment. Okay, so this is actually a sidekick adjustment that's actually good. So, obviously she's one of the best combo ones in the game, but she re um, her cooldown was pretty slow, so they've increased it to 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. Um, she moves a bit slower on the ground, follow-up speed when the air is increased. Um, so yeah, she comes back slower. Uh, I guess it has a lowered hitbox, because she could basically hit the opponent, like, instantly, like, out of anywhere. Uh, rigidity after throwing away, so the opponent won't have such a big, like, solid hitbox. 
um, increased drop speed. Oh yeah, because you know how they like fell so slowly and awkwardly after she threw them to the ground? So I guess they'll fall more quickly. Um, meat store semen. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> is referring to Seiji. And uh, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> so basically just got a, a few changes to his target combo. Um, mainly to the second hit, so I guess... Because it was a pretty weird, so I guess they made it so it's more likely to um, hit the second hit, because a lot of the time after you hit the first one, you'll miss the second one. So I guess they fixed that, and they also changed the hitbox after you hit that attack. So maybe that'll open up some combos or whatever, I'm not quite sure exactly what that'll do. Guard cancel, I don't know, something was wrong with his guard cancel. Yeah. Okay, Night Eye. Oh man, I still I don't know who that was at the top there. That 800 million. <laughs> Anyways, um, stabilizes the third hit on the ground. Oh yeah, because a lot of the time the third hit of Night Eye's um, combo just like missed for some reason. So they fixed that, which is great. Adjusted the first, so he'll be able to combo into his plus ultra one a lot more consistently, which is good. Uh, just as the first stage of the air target combo, make it easier. Oh yeah, because he had bad hitbox on his air attack string. Um, his air quirk 2, um, just to reduce the blowing distance at the finish. Okay, so when he does that, like, heel kick to the ground when he's in the air, his quirk 2 in the air, it doesn't launch him as far away, so that's pretty good. Um, change to sidekick attack, upward revision, y yeah, fix some glitches with that. Also, yeah, fix some glitch with his prediction thing with Gangwalker. Um, oh, his quirk one. Oh, wait. No, 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 okay, he fixed some glitch when he stabbed with plus ultra twos or something. Okay. So Gang Orca, his quirk one, attack, judge, just as he attack, judgment of ground. So maybe its hitbox was changed of his quirk one, or maybe it reaches further or something, not quite sure. Fixed to not disappear. Um, okay, maybe his quirk one was disappearing or something. Just a blow off distance. So I guess, oh yeah, because when he did it in the air, they got launched away pretty far, which was quite annoying. So I guess they changed that. Or right, that might actually be bad, because it'll, they won't get crushing, uh, media bloat, uh, sent to wall splat as much. Um, adjustment of the timing allows desk dash cancellation after that. Oh, that's good. So he might be able to get combos using his, um, quirk one a lot more easily, which is really good. Um, tilt quirk one. Oh, that's his big yellow, like, Sonic boom thing. Uh, adjustment of timing when dash cancellation is possible. Okay, I don't know if that's enough for a buff. It could mean he can't combo off of it now, or maybe you can combo easily. Easily, -er? that's a word, sure. And sidekick plus ultra change. Uh, fat gum, when he's fat. His tilt quirk two, change the cancellation timing for plus ultra one and two. His tilt quirk two, what even is that? Is that where he does like a punch or something? I don't even remember. Oh no, that's when he grabs you. So I guess... What is it saying? Always prohibited it until finished hits. Oh yeah, because sometimes you could cancel it before he actually did it. So that like, when you cancel it, um, you can't do it until the end. Because sometimes if you cancel it early, then they'll just be on the floor and you miss it. Okay, Fat Gum, I assume this is going to be referring to his, um... When he's in Slim Gum mode, because they've mentioned him twice now. So when he's in Slim Gum... Uh, Fast ground counterattacks, which is interesting, because I thought they were already pretty fast. Um, aerial attack is faster. Drop speed changed. Aerial counterattack, blow off. So they don't get launched as far. Reduce the rigidity. Maybe that's re um, getting rid of some of his infinites or weird things he can do with his counterattacks. Um, his quirk one, when he's in slim gum. Reduce overall follow-up distance for the third attack of aerial quirk one. I don't even really remember what that is. It's like a, a like a multi-punch thing, I think. Um, reduces the gap between the first and second stages. Okay. Um, his tilt quirk one changed to be passive during damage. Okay. Oh, and they increase the full speed. So um, that's probably going to remove the infinite that he had off of his tilt quirk one with the um the like rainbow lightning kick things. Um. His Quirk 2 increases the speed of eating takoyaki. Oh, that, okay, that's good, because sometimes he could get punished after doing his Quirk 2 and because he eats the takoyaki. Change the number of times needed to gain weight. Oh, that's good. So he can do three... Um, 
he can do four of his quirk twos when he's in uh, slim gum stage, which is, and quirk two is really good because it does a lot of damage, but you don't want to do it too much because he eats takoyaki and gets fat again. But now he can do it four times. Um, you become in invincible until you start to gain weight and lose weight with the effective fire. Okay, oh yeah, so he's, when he's transforming, he's invincible. Plus ultra one, change, you cannot get passive one down, don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, regular overhaul. He actually didn't get touched that much, which I thought was surprising. Adjustment of the cancellation timing to a unique technique. Wait, so this is his air quirk one. So that's the move where he like launches himself to the ground and it's that combo extender you do after two hits. Um, adjustment of the cancellation timing to, to, to technique. Okay, I hope that isn't nerfing his um, combos because it says it adjusts his cancellation timing. So hopefully you can still get combos off of his air attacks. We'll see. Um, his sidekick attack was changed slightly. Okay, V2 overhaul. His quirk, his tilt quirk one, which is that combo move where he like grabs you and then like launches you into the sky, uh, does less damage. Okay, so just overall less damage for his combos because that's really a combo move. Uh, his plus ultra one doesn't make the last attack when guarded. Yeah, because it did a huge amount of damage if you guarded it. Um, damage is scattered. Okay, uh, fixed his sidekick attack. Um, his sidekick plus ultra was actually buffed, it does more damage now. Um, no last attack when damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, twice. His tilt quirk too, changed the reset state of weapons when summoning 8 million. Who the hell is 8 million? Is that Bakugo? Maybe. Eight million, eight million. yeah, I have... Uh, I might have to come back and fix every time I mentioned 8 million, but anyways. Um, he also fixed his alter ego's production when the opponent with plus ultra 2 hits. Okay, so twice didn't really get anything changed, just some bug fixes. Mr. Compress, he got a few changes to his um, target combo and his counter attack. So essentially the changes here, like extend the distance of the first step and the third stage, um, the generation rate and turning speed and stuff. I assume this is all meaning, because you know when sometimes when you're any Mr. Compress players, when you were doing your combo near the wall, you would have to do your combo where you do two hits into his counter attack, um, or else it like, wouldn't work, like going into the tilt quirk one and stuff, because they get like launched weirdly. So I assume this means he like turns around faster and it just fixes like the problems that he kind of had with his regular attack string, which is good, because you can always go for his high damage combos now. But he also got good changes to his counter attack. So um, like better hitboxes, the air one, Counter attack, I don't know, knocks him further away or something, so maybe easier wall splats. Um, and he also turns around faster, which is really good, so if they sidestep, you know, he'll still chase after them really well. His quirk one, reduced waiting time before receiving decompression. So I guess that means you can cancel it earlier, or maybe it's less minus, like he doesn't have that thing where he like hold, does the whole freaking bow down, and <laughs> so maybe it's more plus or something. Adjust the timing for dash cancels. That's interesting. I thought they would be nerfing his combos, but it seems like it might be better or worse. Or, yeah, or it could be either one. <laughs> um, his tilt quirk 2, which is his grab. Uh, oh yeah, the opponent disappeared, so just fixing a glitch. And adjusts the cancelling. Oh yeah, so all of his plus ultras are changed to, like, you can't cancel from the, the grab until he actually lets him back out, which is good, because then... Like, you don't do it before he releases them and then you miss it. Sidekick plus ultra. Uh, character is not hit. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, now this is a surprising one. 100% Deku. His plus ultra one is also now better. So it goes through projectiles more consistently. What? No nerfs for 100% Deku? Are you kidding me? Like, Bandai, or whoever... I don't really know who the developer of this game is, but do you pay attention to the community? Do you know how much people hate this character? And all you did was make his plus ultra one better? Like, I know his plus ultra one wasn't that great, but come on, nerf something else, please. God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Nomu, I assume this is. No playable brain. <laughs> um, Psychic plus ultra, lower. And that's all he got. Interesting, I thought he would have gotten buffed as well. So there is, really isn't that many um, big changes. But anyways. Okay, common to all characters. So these are things that happen to everyone. They're 
down passive. So when they're on the ground, I guess, adjust the increase of climb to make it easy to perform aerial action after they're on the ground. So when you're on the ground, you're invincible to longer, I'm reading that as. So you're on, on the ground for 0.15 seconds longer. And normally passive invincible time, 0.1 seconds. I'm not quite sure what that's referring to. Uh, normal combo, counter, yeah, phenomenon fixing. Yeah, all characters. There was some things where sometimes sidekicks and guard cancels did a little bit of damage, but now they all do zero. Uh, aerial target combo, fix debug, just guard, succeeds. Oh, you cannot move. That target combo. Okay, whatever. Fixing some bugs. And then there's just some random stuff about Nintendo Switch stuff. But here, here, I know a lot of people are really excited about this. And yeah, basically, there's the voice dub in the game now. And I know a lot of people are <laughs> asking for that so much. So it's good that they finally added that into the game for everyone. And yeah, some random thing here. Anyways, uh, wait. Okay, who the hell is... 800 million. And he's... After... Okay. I'll see if I can find them. Okay, so... Who are we? We're after Kirishima, who is... The here. Okay, let me Google Translate just this name. Wait, no. It would be this one. 800 million. Who the hell's name is that? T Yao Yorozu. Oh, it's Momo! Mo Yao Yorozu Hyaku. I guess they were reading the 100 kanji differently. Um, okay, so let's reread Momo. Just the falling speed of the party up to the second step on the ground. Oh, I guess they fall faster or something. Maybe you can't get um, some loops or infinite, or not infinites, but the loops with her Madryoshkas or something. Cancelling from the second, what? Second step of the ground. Oh, adjust the timing for cancelling it into quirk one. Oh, so I guess um, that's probably referring to when she's in sword state, she can't cancel uh, her regular attack string into the quirk one, into the tilt quirk one as easily, so no, so damage a little bit. Oh, I'm glad she didn't get hit too much though, so, but yeah, that's all the changes that we have for this patch in uh, My Hero 1's Justice 2. A little bit disappointing, but maybe more will be coming, um, when Hawks is released. But, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed, wow, <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a good day, see ya.